Gentlemen, again, once again, uh, Donald Trump takes the win in New Mexico. New Mexico, people! Think about it! New Mexico! Albuquerque wins it! Landslide! Takes it! He's only a few delegates away now, people, from ke- from grabbing the nomination. He's he's practically there, okay? It, it's, it's, it's a done deal, okay? I don't know why people are still trying to fight the fact that the man's already there, okay? He's there! I don't know why you guys keep trying to throw in, now you want to try to throw in third party cats. I heard this guy on freaking the Glenn Beck show the other day talking about, what's his name, Scott? Yeah, I think his name's Scott, Dad. Yeah, well, this guy, Scott, whatever his last name is, I didn't really pay attention because he was vitally unimportant. <laughs> I mean, nobody's even heard of the guy. If it wasn't for the fact that I was tuning in for a moment, I wouldn't even have known this guy was even trying to th- jump into the third party flip. But supposedly, this guy is trying to run, and uh, he says he's going to try to get in, uh, you know, as a third party candidate and run against Hillary and uh, Donald Trump. And then he even had the gall to say that he could possibly even win nomination on the first ballot. I'm like, really? It's too late, dude. It's over. If Ted Cruz can't take it, what makes you think you can do it? So he's up here throwing off policies that are similar to, you know, and, you know, basically buttering Glenn Beck and them's ears because that's all Glenn Beck and them want because they freaking such haters of Donald Trump. They think he, they think Donald Trump's going to be the next Hitler and everything. What did the frick you call Obama? Okay? What do you you call freaking Hillary Clinton? As far as I'm concerned, they're Hitlers too. So there you have it. Anyway, this guy has not a chance at prayer and even winning one state. Nobody's going to think of this guy as somebody who's going to win against Hillary. He can't even bring Democrats to the freaking party when Donald Trump's already doing all that and then some. Come on. A little late for the game, buddy. Go back and come back in four years. Maybe then you might have a chance. But till then, shut up! Okay, so anyway, back to Donald Trump and his rally. (laughs) <laughs> oh, this is good. You Democrats, all you guys ever do is throw all the stuff, the negative stuff, the attacks you do, all it ever does is backfire on you. And let me tell you how this one backfires on you. Of course, the Democrats have their protesters out once again, out in Albuquerque, where Donald Trump's having his rally. And of course, people are almost afraid to even go to the damn rally because you got so many of these damn protesters uh, that are practically getting violent. They're yelling, screaming, you know, F you, Trump, and all this other crazy nagglish. You got cops and security having to keep these people in line because now they're starting to riot. They're trying to get in there. They're breaking windows, jumping on cars, fighting police, yelling at... And you want to know the funny thing about it, people? Here's the catcher. Here's the good one. It's funny how you guys, all you guys ever do is prove Donald Trump right. Donald Trump's talking about building a wall to keep immigrants, low, lowly criminal immigrants. We're not talking about the good ones. We're talking about the negative bad ones. The ones that come into this country to sell drugs and everything else. Not to include the fact that we got freaking terrorists who are going to use that same border and do the same thing and so forth. But for the most part, it's these illegal daggum uh, uh, the drug cartel, uh, you know, immigrants, Mexicans from over the border coming over and trying to start craziness, which is what all Donald Trump has basically been saying he wants to get rid of. He's not saying get rid of all the Mexicans. He's saying get rid of the ones that come in here and want to destroy shiz. Well, here we are at the rally and the very nature of these people going around screaming this, this, that. They're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And of course, how many people are out there that are Caucasian or black or anything else doing that? It's, it's, it's a bunch of Mexican immigrants. People that probably have no paperwork. They're illegals. Okay. They're, they didn't come in here, you know, legally. They came in here and they're dressed up almost like terrorists, wearing bandanas over their noses and bad and face and, and looking like freaking Rambo on a freaking rampage. And they're just throwing rocks and doing all kinds of crazy stuff, just violating it, putting things on fire, hitting cops. Some cops have been injured. It's crazy. Mayhem. That's all it is going on, peoples. And all you see these guys are waving around. 
the Mexican flag. Once again, people, why is it that all these rallies, the people that are protesting are these guys that are waving Mexican flags? Why aren't you guys waving American flags? I thought you guys were supposed to be all American, all about America. Isn't it the whole idea to leave your country is to come here? The first immigrants that came to this country were people who wanted to be American. They wanted to be, they left a a country that just was no opportunity. And that's understandable. You want to leave a country to live and lead a better life. That's what's coming to here to America to lead and Amer- to have to 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 have a freedom of speech and free and religion and all these wonderful things that the country provided that all these other countries were not doing. That's why so many immigrants came here, whether they be German, African, you know, uh, uh, Irish, uh, you name it, all kinds of people from all over the world have come here. As immigrants. That's how it started. That country was built off of that. And there's no distributing against that, peoples. It's it's the American way and everything. But the problem now is, is that nobody wants to simulate anymore. Nobody wants to be be all American. They want to bring what they left, which was the tyranny and destruction of their homeland. And they want to bring it into the land that's already nice and free and full of butter. And they want to destroy it. They want to turn, you know, the United States into the place they they freaking just left. Well, what was the point of leaving? You're waving Mexican flags. And don't get me wrong. It's great to be proud of your, 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 where you come from and everything. But if you guys are supposed to be fighting for the all American way and, 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 and liberty and rights and all this other stuff, why are you waving a Mexican flag? Why aren't you waving an American flag? No, instead, they're burning American flags. Oh, that's real great, Democrats. You guys are really showing how you guys are. So all you're really doing, people, is proving Donald Trump's point, which is this is why he wants to build a wall. And you're showing all these people that were there peacefully to watch the to see the Donald Trump, which is about six, seven thousand people filled this auditorium and everything. All you're showing to them is, well, Donald sure is right. These guys are a bunch of violent, crazy people. We sure don't want to deal with these people no more. So all you're doing is giving a bad name to the Mexican people by doing that and everything. It's stupid. Why can't you just protest peacefully like all the other back in the day protesters did? Cool, you're there to protest, protest, but peacefully. And wave American flag, not the Mexican flag. You're supposed to be Americans now, remember? Or are you? Oh, maybe we missed something. (laughs) Anyway, so uh, another great news today. We got got all kinds of stuff going on. Oh, so we got to go to Charlie Wagon. Okay, slow down. Breathe. Breathe. Uh, breathe. You want to say Charlie Wacko, right? Yeah. That's all you had to say. See, Ray? That's how you do things. Yeah, sir. I tried to train him to do that. Ray, you did nothing of the such. Anyway, uh, I guess we got to go on to Charlie Wacko. Charlie Wacko's got some great information out there. Uh, pressing news. And oh, to you, Charlie Wacko. Hi, this is Jay, Char, uh, Charlie Wacko. <laughs> Charlie Wacko, almost forgot my name there, reporting here for Jim Parker News with latest news coming in. Like, no way, man. Like, guess what California's got, he finally got up in this, in, in, in California. New laws in, in certain areas are basically stipulating that now you're able to steal up to $900 worth of stuff without getting put in jail. And that's in certain places and regions of California. Well, well, golly, like a man just the other day was talking about how much product he's losing from people coming in and stealing his 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 product. He he works for a model uh, a model company that has like b- little model cars, model planes, and well, dude, like the. You can actually go in there. People have been stealing from them. And as long as it's like under $900, well, they don't get prosecuted. Well, what kind of law is that?
Well, I guess I can just go in there if I want to, and I can go steal me some stuff. Maybe even steal some microphones and some recording equipment from Jim Parker, and he can't even freaking file a complaint. Well, I guess I kind of will do like this recorder I'm using. This thing's like under $900, and well, this mic here, too. Well, she is. Thanks, Jim. Back to you. What? What the hell does he mean he's going to take my... Is he... Can he do that? Can he... Is he, he can actually do... Yes, sir. It's actually uh, stated that anything under $900, they pretty much only just give you a slap on the wrist and basically say, uh, no jail time for you, but try not to do it again. But in... 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 All essence, they uh, can steal up to about $900 almost. Well, that's preposterous. And looks like Charlie Well uh, Wacko there has got your mic and recorder there. He's going to keep it, looks like, sir. No, he's not. Not on my watch, he's not. Oh, no. You can't do that to Charlie Wacko. Charlie Wacko. $900. You can't do that to him. He, uh, got everything he wants. What? He said uh, Charlie Wacko uh, got anything he wants for under $900. That is your property, sir. And you can't do anything about it. Well, this is a bunch of cr- uh, 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 malarkey, and I'm not going to stand for it. And uh, but, uh, but, Well, sir, you haven't paid him in weeks. Well, I guess this time you can have it as a gift. Whatever. Okay, so, um, yeah. Uh, what a country we live in here, peoples. What a country. <laughs> so many things going on that are just crazy. You can steal stuff under $900. What is this country coming to? Good grief. I'm telling you, man. Jim Parker won't stand for it. I speak out for the people, and I speak out for truth. Truth and justice in the American way. And that's how I do it here, ladies and gentlemen, here on the Jim Parker Show. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to yell about maybe $500 there. Okay, so and anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in other news... What do we have here, Ray? Well, yes, sir. Uh, it's quoting right here. Um, the State Department Inspector General report sharply criticizes Clinton's emails. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Clinton is in bad hoo-ha. It's getting really bad for her, ladies and gentlemen. This, they're broccoli down, and she was in court today. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Hillary... <laughs> <laughs> Talking about just craziness coming out on her wing shift T- time and time again. She's never going to be able to live half of this shit down. But the, I don't know what Obama and them is going to do, but I think these guys are going to probably, uh, in the end, they might be putting in Biden. Yeah, it's looking that way. Uh, uh, they're already putting Biden into play with a number of different things. If you notice, he was out there uh, meeting some of the generals in some of these other countries. Uh, like, why they got uh, Biden doing that? Hmm. Makes you wonder. And as we all know, the Obamas can't stand the Clintons. Oh, yeah, people. This is not no real secret. It's been under the underground for a while. They just got to play nice with each other. But they really hate each other. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a, a scandal in the TV show Scandal. Or that one show, Cards, whatever. Uh, political cards, whatever, whatever. Um, but anyway, uh, Hillary Clinton is uh, right now. I guess the FBI has got her in the courts, and it's getting ready to start. They already uh, brought in about seven or eight of Hillary Clinton's aides, who um, are now being. Um, uh, well, uh, being questioned on the whole matter, a lot of them are uh, trying to plead the fifth. <laughs> I wonder what that means. It means you're guilty, Hillary, and they don't want to freaking go down for your crap and so forth. But it looks like they will. Some of them have hands in on some of this email scandal craziness, and they have, it looks like, up to 140 FBI agents that have been on the case and over hundreds of thousands of emails have already been uh, upreled on Miss Hillary, and they're going back even further than that. Uh, she's got great top secrets that have, that were, I guess, uh, mishandled. And from what they say, uh, that Miss Hillary broke all the rules, and this is what they're saying in the courts today. She broke all the rules, rules that should not have been broken, 
and there's at least 10 of them that she broke, they said. And breaking the rules in the government is breaking.